students today we are going to see cyclic quadrilaterals okay very very important concept in 9th standard samachit max exercise 4.4 okay it comes under chapter 4 geometry exercise 4.4 first sum okay so what do you mean by cyclic quadrilateral before that okay before we start this question what do you mean by cyclic quadrilateral so cyclic the name itself cyclic quadrilateral so quadrilateral means what that means four sided figure right see here this is a b c d is a quadrilateral it is inscribed inside a circle the condition is the vertices see a b c d all should lie on the circumference of the circle okay so then then you can call it as a cyclic quadrilateral so a b c d is here a cyclic quadrilateral right and there are two important properties okay opposite angles b and d are opposite angles and a and c are opposite angles so when you add these opposite angles you will get 180 degrees so the very important property of cyclic quadrilateral is opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary okay so that is the first important property okay so that we are going to use it here so the question is find the value of x in the given figure x is here you can see x uh, circle with center o so this ab you know ab this is a chord longest chord it is passing through the center of the circle so this is actually the diameter okay so the diameter so when this is the diameter of the circle so what happens to the down part and the above part it becomes semicircle two semicircles right okay so when angle is formed in a semicircle see you can listen here this angle a c b it's a very very important concept what is that angle inscribed in a semicircle angle inscribed in a semicircle is what 90 degree okay see i am drawing a small circle see this is o so this is our diameter ab so the upper part is also a semicircle the below part is also a semicircle so an angle is formed right see i am drawing acb alone so what is this this is 90 degree okay so acb is 90 degree so we found this angle 90 degree it's a right angle okay now you want x degree we don't know this angle right so first what will you write from figure angle acb okay is equal to 90 degree so in the bracket you must write the reason okay angle in a semicircle angle in a semicircle okay you found one angle right actually the, you can see this is a triangle right one angle you found this is 90 degree by uh, this uh, statement angle in a semicircle okay is 90 degree okay next coming to the cyclic quadrilateral property see can you see which are the opposite angles b and d are the opposite angles of the cyclic quadrilateral right so what can you say what is angle a b c a b c because angle a d c is what angle a d c is what 120 degree so therefore angle a d c plus angle a b c is equal to what because b and d are opposite angles is equal to 180 degree because what opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral okay so ad is 120 plus abc we want if you find abc can easily find the angles asked x value right so angle abc is equal to 180 minus 120 is equal to 60 degree so now we found another angle that is 60 degree in the same triangle okay already we found acb and now you found this is 60 degree you can see they are opposite angles now see this is a triangle right you can see a triangle formation so in triangle a b c okay so which angle you found angle a b c 
by triangles and property, right? Angles and property of a triangle. Angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle CAB. That is only X is equal to what? 180 degree angle sum property of triangle. Angle sum property of a triangle. Okay. So what is ABC? 60 degree. What is ACB? 90 degree. What is CAB? That is X degree. So X degree. CAB. That is X degree. Okay. So, is equal to 180 degree. So, 150 plus x is equal to what? 180 degree. So, x is equal to 180 degree minus 150 degree. So, x degree is equal to how much? 30 degree. Okay. So, when you have a sum like this, don't think that it is difficult. It's very easy when you have all the things uh, no, right? So, this type of concept you have to remember. Many concepts like this you have to remember very well and do it. Okay. So, you have to visualize it. See, when you visualize this is a triangle, you have to hide this and see. Okay, this is a triangle. So, when this is a diameter, a semicircle, here also semicircle. So, angle in a semicircle is 90 degree. That's all. Okay. You can easily find the angles asked in the question. Thank you, children.